for South Africa's <coughs> state of development, manufacturing is at a far lower contribution to GDP than it should be. And certainly when you compare South Africa to our peers in emerging markets, uh, we, we are lagging way behind in terms of our manufacturing capability. And even if you eliminate the, the usual suspects of China and uh, some of the Far Eastern uh, tigers that have emerged over the past 20 or 30 years, we, we still are lagging behind competitors like Indonesia, Thailand, Malaysia and so forth. Now, there are a number of reasons for this. I think first of all is that uh, we face a lot of competition from imports and we face a lot of competition from uh, investments that have been made abroad at scale. So world class uh, and world scale really does matter. Uh, labor costs, and I'll talk more about labor costs a little bit later. Our energy costs are significantly higher and steadily increasing. And then our infrastructure, I think over the past number of years, has shown a tendency to deteriorate rather than to improve. And then of course, lastly, is the uncertainty created by changes in the policy and regulatory environments. If you then look at why this is a broader societal concern is that we have shed a very large number of jobs. So we have lost in manufacturing since 1989 about half a million jobs. Now in a country with uh, our rate of unemployment, about 27%, uh, this is a real crisis. So um, the manufacturing circle is part uh, of a program and initiative to try and create these million jobs. Now this is the archetypal BHAG, the big hairy audacious goal that we're putting forward, but I think if we, uh, if we think that we can solve the problems of South African uh, unemployment by creating a hundred jobs or a thousand jobs even, we are thinking far too small. We, we don't have enough ambition. And I think we, we really need to think how we can move the needle to create the million jobs. And as I've hopefully illustrated, if we can grow manufacturing to be 30% of GDP, where theory says it should be, then that million jobs should be within sight. So we, we are looking at things like uh, plastics and packaging, chemicals, agro-processing in particular, we, we think that old gr holds great promise. Steel, uh, which is a, a difficult, complicated issue, depending on where you sit in the value chain. Um, and we are looking at the bottlenecks that are holding back uh, further investments. We want to find these investment projects. Uh, they are difficult. Uh, it's, it's, it's not straightforward. If it were easy, then somebody would have done it a long time ago. But we are finding very strong support from trade and industry, economic development. Uh, we are in the process of engaging with the Department of Finance. Uh, we have had very constructive discussions with the Premier of Gauteng uh, and he's MEC for Economic Development. Uh, and we, we are all aligned about what it is that we need to do. Uh, of course, the question is how and how do we get the right resources aligned so that we can uh, grow the economy and uh, unblock these, these bottlenecks uh, in order to create the million jobs.